Praise God, the God of love that he never lets go. He's paid the price so that we can be free to be in that vital union with him. And what joy and peace he gives us as we allow that to remain our focus. Well, that was a lot to take in, wasn't it? So let's take the time to pray over the summary. Um, if, if anybody has problems with downloading that, I'm sure Cecilia in the church office will be able to help them. God is preparing us for the works that we are uniquely and corporately called to as we let his spirit have free reign. But as Andy said, we need to be prepared to leave behind the things which are not so good, fear, reticence, maybe unforgiveness, and also even good things that may be on our agenda, but that keep our hands too full to receive what he wants to give us. Maybe self-effort, where we need to yield to the Holy Spirit's empowering. We, like the disciples, can be transformed by knowing that Jesus rose from the dead, so he's alive today, and the Father has sent his Spirit to indwell and equip us for the task ahead. Ultimately, the task, like the disciples, of confidently proclaiming and challenging people to repent. Obviously, that needs to be done in a way that reveals the Father's heart of love and in a language, as Andy says, that the hearers can understand. And then, if we can tolerate that mocking that we saw the disciples had on that first Pentecost, Perhaps we too will see the thousands added that they also saw daily. So let's pray. Father, we know that sometimes it's difficult for us to take things in, but your Holy Spirit can help us in that too. So I just pray that you'd help each one of us to be determined to take the time that we need to be able to really digest what you have for us. Father, we don't want to be those who are spectators in this next move of your spirit, in this process of transforming into Hope Church, in this corporate um, doing of those acts that you've prepared in advance for us to do. We want to be part of it. We are your church. We are your body. We are your family. Um, and we pray that we will be up for that task. Help us, Lord, to be willing to let you show us how to um, yield fully to your spirit, how to let go of the things that are hindering us, the bad things, but even those things that in themselves are good, but not part of your plan for us. Help us to empty our hands, as it were, so that we can receive all that you have for us, that we would get on board and be following your agenda for us as individuals, and corporately. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you died for us to pay that full price. Thank you that we're totally free to be in that vital union with you, to let your spirit work through us to accomplish your purposes. We give ourselves to you again today. Thank you, God. Amen. Hope you'll join us in the coffee and chat at 12 o'clock. Bless. Bye.